<laughs> we gotta be thankful. I'm grateful for everything. Let me just, uh, you know, our spirit guides always guide us in the right direction. Everything that happens to us is always. That I got you. I got you, Will. So Dion and then Will <laughs> singing chicken. <laughs> Thank you, Lashawn. Thank you, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, Samantha. How are you guys? Good to see you guys. Good to see you. So, yeah, um, we're going to see a lot of crazy things. It may seem like everything is normal happening, but a lot of things are going to be a little bit, you're going to see. <laughs> but in the shift, also, our bodies are getting adjusted. It's just, it's an adjustment. So, some of you guys may have back pain. Some of you guys feeling tired, you want to sleep, you know, some of you guys been feeling a little bit more emotional and all that. It's because your body is shifting, but more like it, I feel like your body is going to react to this because it's adjusting. It's adjusting. Samantha, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. You're so sweet. <laughs> no, the chicken, the chicken is not here today. <laughs> I I do another live store and I had the chicken there. I have Pikachu. I do have Pikachu here though. Pikachu! <laughs> Pikachu! He Pikachu is here. <laughs> so let's see. So I got so far Dion and Will on the list. <laughs> Ways on my way. I was being your path. You know, there's things in the I I mean let me change the music because if I keep playing this music, I'm just gonna be singing it. You know, you know me. You, you know me. <laughs> so let me put the music where I'm not gonna be singing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> You're gonna have fun? Yes. <laughs> so the thing is to stay in your path. Stay in your path. Stay as positive as you can. Do not feed into fear. That's one of the main things. Don't feed into fear or other dramas or dramas. Dramas will gonna try to come and find you, but do not feed into that, you guys. That's the trick. Let's use all these energies. Hello, Colleen. <laughs> oh, your grandson loves Pikachu. I know Pikachu. <laughs> And Lindsay, did you see that video where the guy, oh my God, somebody got a fire, firework, it's a Pikachu, and he decided to light it up in his bedroom. Brilliant. <laughs> you, you're trying to stay low key. No problem. Thanks, Lindsay, for being here. You know, you can sit here and listen. You can just sit there and listen to what goes on. There's a lot of uh, important information here. I don't talk in the other end, so whatever comes out here, you can listen to Lindsay. Absolutely, you're more than welcome. You don't just because you're not in the list, you guys doesn't mean you have to run. You can stay and listen. Anybody who 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 falls in this video later is because you needed to listen and message here. That's for sure. So, <laughs> Colleen, oh yeah, Colleen, yeah. This one guy buys a uh, Pikachu that it was a firework thing, and he lights it up in his bedroom. <laughs> I'll post a video of it later. It's kind of funny. Like <laughs> I shared it with Lindsay. Uh, I mean, it, like hello there, really people. <laughs> but that's when it comes to comes to what I'm saying, craziness, right? It, even though. Uh, <laughs> It looks like something, but what? Like people are not thinking well. <laughs> they're not. You're not. They're not computing things. Like <laughs> so, uh, that's another uh, fogginess in your mind. So that's another. Um, <laughs> yeah. that's another uh, of the adjustment of this new energies or this shift that's happening. That you may feel a little bit fogginess in your mouth. You may in your mind. You may feel a little bit. Um, not wanted to focus on something or just distracted, but not really kind of, there's so much going on, uh, on the adjustment. So different people 
will get um, affected different, and it all depends on you. And the pokings will be, everybody pokings is different than one person. So whatever is triggering you, make sure you grab the trigger, and instead of reacting to the trigger, take that trigger and look at yourself and see what is it, why is it triggering you, whatever it is, Maybe there's something you need to heal inside of you. So it is time to focus on our self healings. And of course, with the shifting, it's also affecting our bodies too. So yeah. Um, how does it work here, dear? Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, there's donations. If you go into the list up there, there's different donations. If you want to pick one of those, you send the donation and you get in the list. Um, and then... Um, Right now, I only have two people, so there's not a long, not a, sometimes we have a long wait. Some people do pre-donation, but today seems like a lot of people are busy. It is summer, a lot of places, and a lot of people are busy. You're doing a lot of self-healing. Very good. Exactly. There's a lot of self-healing going on, and we need to focus on that. Focus on the self-healing, the self-healing, doing our shadow works, and keeping that positive energy. I always wake up every day to see what you can do to be a better you today. And every day you focus on what can I do today to be a better me. And, and that will take of taking even uh, some habits that we have that we need to change, you know, and, and change habits. Habits are created, you guys. And uh, the habits are, we're so comfortable with some of them. But if there are some habits that you need to change, you can actually start creating a new habit which you find a positive habit to do it takes about 30 days to get used to a habit and so focus on the new habit that will substitute the old habit you see like i was saying <laughs> i was talking to lindsay earlier about i i love ice cream that, that's a, a one of my biggest habits so but i'm you know because i'm trying to to stay out of the animal product and ice cream is animal products. So I'm creating the habit of getting a different kind of ice cream, which is not animal product instead of the other one. I know it tastes different, all that, but it's a habit. <laughs> but that's even though as little as eating ice cream, right? So that's a habit that I want to do for myself. You don't want to do it for anybody else, but for yourself. I, I don't, I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm not trying to do that. I want to do for myself. For my own reasons everything you do you do it for you what is good for you right <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i need to create a, i i used to be on i used to do a lot of tiktok but i got into a habit of not being there so now i want to bring the habit of going a little bit more there like i promised everybody there i kind of abandoned them and so I need to work on that too. So you see, I have certain things that I need to work on myself in that sense. I kind of abandon them. I feel bad. But it's just being, I was something. We'll make black beans corn taco today. Uh, made black beans. Oh, that sounds very yummy. That sounds very yummy. Yes. <laughs> that sounds very yummy. But yeah, so, and focus on the better of everything and again any triggers that come your way don't focus on whoa that thing triggered me or that thing hurt me or that's terrible whatever don't focus on that focus on what is why is it triggering me what is it i need to heal myself obviously if it's triggering me they're they're marrying something that i need to heal myself and put that finger back to you heal yourself you know once you start healing yourself those triggers no longer is going to bother you and they will disappear magically they will disappear it's funny how that works diani <laughs> so i had dion first and then will <laughs> the beans in place of the meat yeah yeah if that's what you want to do again you follow what your you want to do what your heart what your body is asking you for you to do you know and, and what is good for one person may not be good for you. You do what is good for you, right? So, like some people goes, oh, you got to do this the best way. Oh, you got to do this the best way. No, what's best for you? And not listening to everybody else. There's so many, this is good, that's good, this is bad, this is blah, 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 blah. It's funny because what is bad for one person may be good for another. What is good for another person may be bad for another. And there's even some vegetables that are they're amazing, but for other people, it just doesn't go with their body or their blood type or whatever. So 
Whatever is good for you, my friends. <laughs> that put, that's why when you know thyself, know yourself, and you follow your, your inner compass, and that's, that is the key right now, to follow your inner compass. Don't confuse your inner compass with the ego mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? The ego will try to trick you. The ego will try to, 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 to sabotage you. So make sure, <laughs> make sure you, you identify your ego from your higher self. To only eat chicken, turkey, and fish, trying to stay away from red meats. Yeah, that sounds good. Yes, because the things that are certain things, food. That's right. That's right. Everybody has different bodies, different metabolism. Absolutely. It's so different, right? Whatever is good, you know, I, you know, it's good to, 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 if you find something somebody recommends, you can always try it. It may resonate with you, may not, right? But then you, not until you try it, then you see, and then you say, well, that, that did not work for me or that, yes, you know, and, and, and on and on, right? But uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hello, Tanya. Dion, 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 and then Will. Dion, you got, okay, so you also too, Will, you got the, uh, the 25 is five cards and charms. Or take a chance and roll the dice. <laughs> Rolling the dice. There's two dice in here. And it could you can take a chance on it. You still get you get chance with that. But you could roll the dice and get five five and get ten cards. You can get six six and get twelve cards. You can get a five and a three and get eight cards. Or you can get a one one and get two cards. Ooh. <laughs> So Dion, Dion, yeah, that's what they roll the dice. Or do you want to play it safe and stay with the five cards and charms? What are you going to do, Dion? Roll the dice or play it safe and stay in the five cards? Till the dice. <laughs> she loves, she loves, I knew she was going to roll the dice. She loves the dice. Dion is her favorite and roll the dice. Dion, Dion, Dion. Tommy went to stop. What do you guys think? Do you guys you, you, you guys think that she should roll the dice or you think she should just just play it safe and keep the five cards? What do you guys say? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh my god. Roll the dice. <laughs> It's funny, I found the fairy sprinkle here too. I was doing a life and no and I found the fairy fairy thing and the other and which we never had it there and now i have it here too yay i can bring the fairy dust to you guys too we <laughs> okay so we're gonna do dion first everybody says roll 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 okay dion tell me when to stop tell me when to stop dion tell me when to stop but don't keep me all night here doing this <laughs> Dion, 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 Dion. Stop. Mm. Okay, let me put my glasses. Let me see. Did she say stop? Did she say stop? She, oh, she said roll. No, she didn't say stop. She didn't say stop yet. She didn't say stop. <laughs> roll, 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 roll the dice. Roll, roll, roll the dice. Come on, Dion. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, Dion. Let's see. Okay, you know what? It's not bad. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad. Actually, I think you like this. So do you want to roll again? Take another chance or you want to keep it? Either way. <laughs> I'm not, you know, when I say roll it, I go roll it again. I go like that. Don't want to roll it? Say, <laughs> but I would say, you want to take another chance or you want to keep it? I give you three chances. <laughs> it's not bad. Roll it again. Sure. Are you sure? It's not bad. She wants to roll it. Are you sure? It's not bad. It's actually, it's actually a good number, actually. <laughs> you like the number. You like this number. Let's see what Diani says. I'm going to wait until I hear from her. That's the whole game, right? <laughs> it's like the price is right. Remember that show, The Price is Right? Dion, 
Roll it or keep it. Asking one more time. Giving her another chance. Ding dong dun 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 Roll the dice. Okay, so you know the number was four and three, which was a seven. Okay, roll the dice. Roll the dice. Roll the dice, she says. She says, roll the dice. Roll the dice. Okay, Dion, tell me when to stop. <laughs> Dion, tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Roll the dice. Roll the dice for Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Diani, tell me when to stop. Stop. <laughs> you want to keep it or you want to roll one more time? It's okay again. It's not a bad number. <laughs> I think that's your number. I think that's your number. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You really can't make this stuff up. <laughs> wait, wait until I show you. Another big leg. Yeah, I know. But are we keeping this one? Are we keeping this roll? <laughs> you know what? It's definitely a sign. It's definitely a sign. <laughs> <laughs> let's it's a big lag again yeah i know let's get uh -huh. <laughs> it's a seven it's the same numbers you cannot make this stuff up girl <laughs> it could have been a five and a two no four and three again you got four and three earlier you saw me shaking that thing you cannot make this stuff up it's obvious that that's your number Seven cards it is for Miss Diani. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you just, we had the Oporto of July 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. Boom, boom. Lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky portal. Boom. Boom. You cannot make this stuff, girl. You cannot make this stuff up. Alrighty. Dion, you got seven cards. Do you have any questions to go with that? Any questions to go with that? Let's see, Diani. Let's see. If you have a question to go with that or you want to allow the spirits to talk to you. In the meantime, I'm already putting your energy on the cards for Dion. And depending on what you want, this message will come out for you. Dion, Dion, Dion. I know it's a lag, isn't it? It looks, yeah, today, you know, there are some changes were done today on on here on facebook so i don't know why but um um spirit you got it uh, definitely um i when i turn on my 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 this actually when i turn on the the app i had a bunch of like confettis <laughs> they were saying congratulations or something and a lot of things were new and they say oh you you know you're done whatever and uh, i guess i don't know they like whatever what i'm doing whatever but they changed i i got new now i can bring three people here i got new things i can bring three people up if i want up to three people which we can try that eventually um when you don't have a lag we can try it so there's a couple new features and so I can see why they're lagging today because of those new things. And yesterday, anybody who was in Canada noticed that we had no phones and, and Rogers were down, no internet. Some of I have another 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 
per another person, another internet, but my phone is Roger, so I couldn't call or anybody could call me, which was pretty cool. <laughs> I don't care. Because <laughs> you know what? I still have WhatsApp. I have all my friends on WhatsApp too, so if they couldn't call me on my phone, they call on WhatsApp, so that's all good. It all worked out. I didn't stress over it. But you see, I did mention to you guys before, it is important for you guys to keep some kind of cash on you. Yesterday, because of that, a lot of stores were not, uh, were only receiving cash. And so a lot of people were having trouble buying, paying for the gas or buying food or that because they rely on the card. How many times I have told you guys don't rely on that. Keep some extra cash around you just in case. So I went to the store, I had cash. I was carrying some extra cash with me in case the machines are not working. And people in the lineup on the supermarket were being super mean to the poor cashier, screaming at the cashier as if it was her fault. But I need to eat, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Like the cashier just went to work that day. I felt so bad for her. But they were just saying, anybody who has cash, please come. We cannot accept anything. So a lot of people were lining up there, hoping they will fix. They stay there and it did not got fixed. It did not got fixed. So people stood up there for nothing and, and they couldn't go get money. That was all Canada, you guys. All Canada. And that comes to tell you that that can happen anytime. Please, guys, keep some money with you. And I've been telling you guys, do not stop circulating the money. Don't do that. Keep the money circulating because that's what's, you know, that's what's going to happen. And so, <laughs> that I was like, la, 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 but because I know I, have, I, you know, I don't depend on this stuff, but the system is being, yeah, it is being redone. Oh, yeah, they're, tr they're really working on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. But you see, that it is all our fault for complying, you see. We say yes every time, oh, use the card. And they've been training us to use the little card. That will, you know, we're so trained for $2 a card, the card. Oh, I have it on my phone now. They're all so proud. I got it on my phone now. Yesterday, you had it on your phone or in your yang yang. That did not work. They wanted you to pay with cash. How is that? And the banks were not even, yeah, yeah it was a mess. It was a mess. Huh. This is supposed to happen. Now, it is, this is what I'm saying. What happened yesterday was a warning from the Galactic. The Galactic Federation, that's, that's intervention. That wasn't supposed to happen yesterday. <laughs> but there was an intervention to wake people up. Watch, you see? So a lot of people are saying, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you know? So that was good. I'm, I was happy that happened. I knew it. I knew it was coming. And that all started happening from the 5th of July when they did that boom, boom, boom. Ba, ba, boom. <laughs> I cannot say it about it. But you see, hmm, so much going on. Yes, a lot. But not. do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. Use it to your advantage. All this, use it to your advantage. Diani, I'm pulling cards for you, okay? I'm pulling cards as I'm talking. I'm letting the cards fall for you, whatever they want to tell Dion. So, yeah, use all this this for us as ammunition for you, for you. And do not, they want you afraid, they want you worried, they want you, and the pokings. And, yeah, the people who has no clue of this, they don't know why they're acting like they just think they're having a bad day. They're thinking they're having a bad day. They think they're feeling crappy. They feel like they're feeling aggravated. They have no idea. When they opened this portal, was with the wrong intentions. This portal, this, you guys can look, it, it is no secret. It is a man-made, they crank it up. It is called CERN. And it's not a secret. They even did a ceremony and all that for that. So it's not a secret that they crank it up. And that's supposed to open portals and black holes and bring entities into all this energy. So don't be, don't be, things are going to be, but the intentions are not 
what we want, but we are going to grab that energy, use it to our intention to create what we want to do. That's what the Galactic Federation told me to tell everybody and told me. Do not let this fear. Now, if you stay in a low frequency, those entities that they're calling in, they will jump on you. And if you're going to just be like a normal person, nothing, you're not going to, but your, your thoughts, everything's going to be a low frequency. People with being in a low frequency, they're those, these things that they're calling in is to, to, to use the low frequency people to act. So yeah. <laughs> Hello, Nick. Alchemy. Yeah. You're bright. That's right. CERN. There you go. So, um, the point is this, the point is this, they brought that with other intentions. We who are listening here, which are not too many of us and not too many of us will be in the line that we are. And I'm being telling you guys, we're going to grab that opportunity and use it to our benefit. And we are going to elevate our frequencies. You get me, guys? We're going, we're going to create better luck. We're going to create better things for us because we're going to stay in a high vibration. So the low frequency can't touch. When you're in a high vibration, it cannot touch you, cannot come near you. It is impossible to go in. But there, don't worry. They're going to be busy with the low frequency. And unfortunately, the masses are right now being triggered to be in a low frequency. Turning that they are going to come and poke you. Even if you're in a high frequency, you're going to get the pokes. Things, even if a pain in the back or something like that. Do not, if you're not have that, that migraine or if you're feeling that, do not. Allow the migraine to control your day. You continue doing your thing as positive as you can. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it's been getting from my guidance. Yes. A lot of people have been hearing from the Galactic Federation this message that I'm telling you guys. Yes, a lot of light workers are getting this. And then there's the light workers bringing fear into you guys. This is not to bring you fear. This is to get you empowered to go up. So I hope that makes sense, you guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Love this chat. Absolutely. Absolutely. Miss Diani. Miss Diani. And it's funny because we're talking about we're pulling cards for Dion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to pull another one. I want to pull. Oh, here we go. Okay. Dion, Dion, Dion. Listen. There is a few of your battles that you're going through. Don't let it get in your head. Okay. Don't let it cluster you. Don't let it fog you. Uh, sometimes you feel like some. Um, <coughs> let me have a drink. Um, let me make sure Dion is still here. Dion, you're still here, right? Dion, 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 you're still here, right? Dion, I want to make sure she's still here. I'm talking and I want to make sure she's having a little bit of a lag. So I want to make sure she didn't get kicked out or anything like that. So Dion, there is some things like... Um, some, there, there is some, some disappointments. I don't know if somebody disappointing you or you're getting disappointed on somebody. <coughs> I don't know if that has to do with work or with actual a person. And that makes you think sometimes and put you in that until, and, you know, into the little fog. Remember this in, in the, as we're talking right now, those are your triggers. Okay. Those are triggers. You're bottling that you're bottling a little bit of that. But that is, is nothing to focus on or worry about because you're, and I pull more than seven cards. <clears throat> you definitely, your hard work, your hard work definitely is going to pay up. Your hard work, you're going into the right direction. The direction that you choose is going to give you that victory, okay? It's going to give you that victory. You're going in the right direction. So I think you're probably moving away from whatever. You're not allowing. I think you're you're doing good. I think you're not allowing these people or whatever situations to, to trap you. You're not going to allow that. You're fighting hard to not be trapped into this uh, entertainment. It's, you would say entertainment. Uh, 
You are well protected. Oh, yeah. Whoa. You're well protected, my 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 beautiful Dion. And this whoever who's messing with you, whoever who's messing with you, they need to watch it. Because, yeah, whoever who's messing with you, they have no idea that they're messing with you have. Maybe not in the human, but you got it in the spiritual realm. Huge protection. Whoa. If they are me anybody who's messing with you is going to get huge karma back. I, I, that is guaranteed. You are well protected. And we know, we know Tim and we know Joker is there for sure. Tim is like, all right, I am there. Tim is there. You know, Tim is always there. Joker is always there. I don't bring him all the time, but to right now he's like, yeah. <laughs> and then you have a whole, like not only them but you have some ancestors and you got your angels you have a whole army you, they protect you they are protecting you i wear my necklace every day perfect yeah, wear your necklace but know that you are well protected anybody who tries to create anything on you or talk about you even if they talk about you they are not they don't they have no idea who they're messing with and you are under my protection too you know that, right? I love you guys so much. Everybody who you guys, I put a shield too. Especially when you guys come here, I put a shield on you guys of protection. So they're not, they're like, and then my spirit guides are there too fighting with yours. So whoever was messing with you, <clears throat> it'll go back. It, it, their karmas, they're going to pay. And you're going to get to see it too. Unfortunately, we don't want to see that. We don't want to see that, but they show you. They they got to show you. Unfortunately, they show you. Like, I, I don't really care. I don't want to see their karma. I always wish people the best. I never talk about it. I let them go. But they always show us. They always show us. They always show us. And you know what, my girl? Your hard work, okay, is going to bring them out. You're going to choose the right directions. You have victory for the abundance that is coming your way. Abundance. Abundance. Beautiful abundance. But you are well protected. Okay? You're well protected. Know that. So continue on that journey. You're, you're, I, I, and you know what we're talking about here. You know what we're talking about here. You continue on your journey. Stay on your path. Like the song, I was on my path. Right? You stay on your path. Don't let anything. You are that ninja. You are that ninja. Stay like the ninja that you are. Continue turning your key to your luck. You have your luck. And do not put all your eggs in one basket. Do not put all your... That, you always get that. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And look at everything, at the beauty of it, at the sweetness of it. Find the sweetness of it. You always going to pay your bills. You're going to always figure out to pay your bill, your bills. So enjoy your cup of coffee, and when you enjoy your cup of coffee, smell it and enjoy everything. And don't forget, again, to continue burning some cinnamon, cinnamon for protection, cinnamon for attracting love, and attracting wealth. This does help a lot on those big time, big time, big time, big time. And Dion, I'm going to pull a page from your higher self message too. Surprise! <laughs> I don't have a long list today, so I figure I'll, I'll do a little extra for you guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, the spin the wheel. If I don't have five people, you guys gonna go on the spin the wheel on the next show, okay? Because with two people, it's hard to do the spin the wheel. <laughs> we need at least five people, but we we'll never know. This happens sometimes while we're doing the readings. You know, people comes along. So let's see, Dion. Let's see what the your higher self wants to tell you. Okay, however daunting the question, the, communi the communication is always the answer. So whatever is that you, you need to communicate practically, communicate. Meaning also, don't hold yourself back if you have to say something to somebody. You know, I know how... Being honest and straightforward is one of the best things to say. If you have to say something to somebody, look, I don't like what you did. You know, please don't do it again. And people don't not used to that. People are not used to that. But you feel free to, to, to communicate that. You know what? I don't appreciate what you did. I don't really do. So, you know what? 
if you can if we can communicate and talk to each other but whatever you did if something that or i don't appreciate what you say or whatever if you if you need to say something express yourself no matter how how hard the truth is if you have to tell the truth to somebody say it okay that's a message from your higher self to you okay that was dion <laughs> i hope that makes sense dion did that make sense let's see did that make sense sweetie i hope that makes sense will your next will will <laughs> will i got the question for you you got also the 25 do you want the five cards and charms or do you want to take the chance and spin and roll the dice are you going to take this a risk are you going to play it safe are you going to roll the dice let's see what will has to say what do you guys think do you think will should roll the dice roll them <laughs> you're very welcome diani thank you so much thank you nice to see you dion nice to see you i've been in the other end uh i i show up for a little bit not too much i was there for a little bit today i'm probably gonna show monday i'll i'll do you want me to let you know i, I mean i don't want to bother you guys <laughs> but if you want me to let you know i'll let you know when i'm there roll the dice dion says and will says roll the dice so who uh, will tell me when to stop rolling the dice <laughs> Tell me when to stop. Now, don't keep me here all night. <laughs> Let's go. We, we, we for Will. For Will. For Will. Let's see Will. Will, tell me when to stop. Stop. <laughs> Will, do you want to roll it again? Do you want to keep it? Do you want to roll it again? Do you want to keep it? Let me know, Will. <laughs> Is that obvious? <laughs> Is that that obvious? <laughs> I help you guys. <laughs> you, although you get three, three spins, it's up to you if you want to spin it again. You, keep it. Alrighty. It's a five and a four. You get nine cards. Nine cards. Woo, Will! <laughs> woo, 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 Will! Nine cards for Will. Nine cards. He, he wants spirit, please. You got it. You got it. Let's see what spirit wants to tell Will today. Let's see what spirit wants to tell. Ooh, that one just flew. Woo! Wow. Hmm. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> okay that is interesting okay i'm putting uh two tarots and other cards so i got this tarot it's so cute i, I really enjoying this tarot today mm. Mm. will 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 what did the spirit want to tell will what is spirit wants to tell will they are just coming out. Ooh, there is that one bitch. There is that one bitch. Is there that one bitch? Oh, God, she came out. <laughs> oh, my God, this one bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so is somebody take? Do you feel like somebody's taking from you? Will? Is somebody taking... That one bitch came out. You know, I remember that bitch can be a a, 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 a male bitch or a, or a guy or a girl bitch. <laughs> hmm, look at that. Interesting. Well, somebody's trying to, either some t taking what? I don't know, but somebody's trying to take something out of you. They're trying to take money. Money. Oh, is somebody trying to offer you something? Like, I feel like somebody's trying to offer you. I feel like you're getting an offer or something. Looks, a, a looks good kind of thing. And maybe some of those things that are too good to be true. Interesting. Well, somebody's offering you something. So I don't know if it is... um. 
if it's money or in a relationship. But I, it's showing me a lot of money, so I feel like. But again, uh, it could be. It could be also, you know, it could be a relationship. But I feel like you're getting an offer. You're getting an offer from that one bitch. Like somebody's trying to offer you something about money, but. <clears throat> And I don't know if you already got an offer already or you're starting embarking on something that you feel the money is a little bit short, kind of. And it's because I feel like they're taking you for a little ride or something. I don't know if it has happened yet or it will. Or... Hi, Kathy! Kathy, there's no list. After Will, there's nobody if you want to jump in. You can be next. I know you're always on a time limit and you always ask me that. Boo! <laughs> so if you want to jump in, Kathy, you will be next. No long wait. So this is really interesting. You know what? I want to pull more cards on this. Can you guys please give me a little bit more advice on this? Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I'm starting to understand this. Well, oh no, okay, you see, I needed to pull more cards. So this is from the past. The past came out. Okay. I think this is going to make more sense now. I needed to pull more cards on that, you see? Okay, so something from the past, that one bitch, whatever happened on the past... It could, I don't know if it was relationship, but, uh, they took from you either your time, your money, or even your heart. And you've been doing, you've been working on healing yourself on that one. You've been working on yourself and healing. Now they're telling me about the past. I believe this is the past. Now that I pull the new cards, that is so the past. That is not now. That's not now. Your ex. Is that person trying to come back? Or is they probably going to try to... Hola from Mexico. Hola, arriba. That's why I say Margarita. Margarita. Hola, Margarita. Oh, Mexico. <laughs> okay, let's see. I am in. Okay, Kathy. You'll be next after. So, Will, this past, whatever uh, it was or it is... Um, she, your ex, I think that person even took money from you. It took your heart. Not that I know of this past person may want to try to come back. May is, have you thought about this person lately? Did it cross your mind? May want to try to contact you again, but you've been healing from that. You be, you free, you actually free your, I feel like you already free yourself from that person you have balanced yourself okay so what the spirit is telling you is that if there's still a little bit of thoughts or anything about that continue doing your healing continue healing but i think you you have that i feel like for what i see here you have balanced yourself definitely justice like that person is getting their karma by the way <laughs> i shouldn't be laughing but yeah that one bitch is getting their karma it's gonna, or either they're gonna get the karma or they're going to get the karma. And that's when you're going to hear back from them. And they only want reinforcement to boost their ego or something like that. Just remember this talk, okay? <laughs> warning, warning. This is nothing bad, it's just a warning. Be careful. This person that did you wrong, this person that stole from you, not only emotions, but money on top of that. You have healed yourself. You have balanced yourself. You free yourself from this person. Already, you have free yourself. So now, with you freeing with that person, you have been more creative. You have been manifesting more of the dinero. Yes, I've been, block I've been blocking the thoughts. But you've been getting the thoughts. I talked to um, 
It is a bad idea to talk to them. Do not, don't, no. The warning, warning. And you've been having thoughts. You've been having thoughts. <laughs> that's why we're, that's, you see, you had to be here. You needed to hear this. That person, it's not good for you. You know, remember that they were not good for you. You work so hard to free yourself. You work so hard to move to, you've done so, obviously they're showing me so much beautiful work on yourself that you've done. Now's not the time to bring that karmatic relationship back. Alrighty? They're going to get the karma though. But because they're getting the karma, they you're thinking of them because they're thinking of you. They're thinking of you. But it's a nar that person's on the narcissist. You just do not. The narcissists are very good, very good to work people who cares for them. So they will probably try to come and offer you. Hello, hi there, hi. I'm offering you me. You can help me now. <laughs> I'm available now because I got my karma. Nobody wants me now. Because after I finish with you, I got, you know, I had all the choices. And I chose that. But they dumped me. I'm all yours. You're not taking nobody's crumb. Nobody's crumb. You No, you're going to get the full picture. You're going to get the full gift, but not from the, this is crumbs. They're going to come and give you crumbs, breadcrumbs. They have not healed themselves. They have not healed themselves. They're just dealing with the karma. And of course, now they want, oh, you know what? That person will, because I know that person will take me back. You are a new will. You have work on yourself. You have free yourself. And going back, it will be just bringing you back into the whole, into the whole idea again. Into the whole, remember where you came from. Don't forget that. You know, and look, you have gone so far. You're happy. You're balanced yourself. But yeah, justice are being happening. But the person is like hoping, they're hoping, hoping to get back, to you, come and get your energy. But you continue on free on this freedom of yours, on this healing of yours in the creation and creating, manifesting all this abundance, manifesting. Be more create continue. You're very creative. You have done that. You do have your angels behind you. And you are turning your own wheel. You're turning your own wheel. You're turning your own wheel. And so many great things to come ahead. Wow. Well. <laughs> is this making any sense? Wow. And this, again, spirit, this is what they're telling you. So I think they're coming as a matter of warning. Do not... Do not carry stuff that is not belong to you. Don't do that. Continue working on your journey. Continue making your own financial well. Continue working on that. You will find somebody new. You will find somebody who cares for you. I'm even pulling more than more. Just want to make sure. You definitely, your queen or your king, it's on the way, but make sure you don't fall for that don't fall for the old don't fall for crumbs you will have victory on this and you will have abundance as well so it, it is up to you though it is definitely what is why is this one here oh yeah this one here came out definitely um the, you know, you're going to get other, um, it may be a little bit emotional, you may feel a little bit emotional, but you're definitely going to get another uh, offers from others, from new, new, new people, new people that are here for you, that actually are good for you. But this past one, that one bitch, yeah, that's the question I wrote down on paper to be answered from the reading. <laughs> I guess your question is being answered. How you, I, is it getting answered for you? But don't like listen. As of now, if you're thinking of that person, they're thinking of you. Do not go. Don't. 
Don't go back to the narcissistic. Don't. And that's up to you, though. You got free will to do this. But the the thing is, going back to that, can you say hi to, hi, Rockstar! Hey, Rockstar! Yo! <laughs> You make sure you treat her good. She's a good girl. She's an amazing lady. Amazing. You know what, Rockstar? You're a lucky guy. <laughs> you are lucky. You honestly got a queen there, I swear. I swear. And Rockstar, I always communicate. I always keep well with communication, okay? <laughs> no matter what you have to talk to her, She's a very understanding person. She's a beautiful person. <laughs> and now he turned red. <laughs> I've been blocked and cutting cords because I don't understand why the red move through our, my heads lately. It's because they're thinking of you too. That's why. So it's not that, you see, the thing is you guys have a, you, uh, they are a karmatic soulmate. And they are here to teach you lessons. They are not here to stay with you. And sometimes uh, it could be also, believe it or not, the narcissist. It could be a, a twin flame too. I'm not sure what it could be. But you cannot cut the cord from a twin flame. But you don't have to be with a twin flame. You don't have to be with them. Especially if they're narcissistic. But they're here to teach you. I don't think they're your twin flame though. I feel like this person is a very strong karmatic um soulmate and the fact that you have done core cuts and they still there because you're so connected energetically there's definitely lessons to this is gonna teach you to empower yourself uh, i know when you care for somebody and 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 they're they have your sweet spot all they need to talk sweet for you and you fall for it that's your challenge and so not until that challenge and you elevate yourself, right? Then once you reach that, then they'll be able to, you'll probably be able to move forward. But it is a test. You're going to put through, you're going to be put through a test. And so that's why sometimes they, they still are lingering around. But they're thinking of you. Thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you. They are thinking about you quite a bit. So uh, possible they want to do a, uh, remember, they have free will. At the moment, they're thinking, they're thinking. I, I, you know what I see them picking up, either picking up the phone or trying to send you a message and changing their mind. And trying to do it and changing their mind. You know, they're about to send, uh, contact you and they say no, right? They want you to do it. They want you to do that move. They did you wrong. It wasn't you didn't do them wrong. You did they they did you wrong. So you you doing the approach, first of all, you're not gonna help them heal. Second of all, you approaching them will just give them confirmation that you will be there all the time for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have to. No, you don't have to. Because if you respond, they'll again, if they send you a message. Unless, unless the offer is solid and good. But if it's cookie crumb, no. If it's cookie crumbles, you don't want cookie crumbles. And I feel like if they're going to, they're cookie crumbles. They have not healed. They need to heal. I mean, you could be with this person in the future. Now, let me tell you one thing. I know you care for this person. You could be with this person in the future if this person heals. They're not healing. So, see, I know this is a little bit confusing. You don't have to be with them or you could be with them. But that's up to them. They, you done your healing. You done your healing. You elevated your frequency. They are acting based on ego. Their crap did not work out well. So, they're paying for the karma. So, they're calling you for, if they want you... It's going to be a just cookie crumble. It's not going to be the whole cookie. So what they're going to do with you is just so you give them, empower them again. They just want to be empowered to feel confidence. And they feel that one little text or something, you will fall for it, you know. 
if it's a good message, a good letter that really, whoa, this is not normal. This person will writing and they're telling you truth and they're beating from the heart and they're really being vulnerable. You can, you can answer it, but not falling into it because you got to do little steps and say, wait a minute. You know what? I want to start fresh. I don't want to jump into anything, you know. And you can say it's not cool what happened before. Uh, you know, you need practically you're gonna tell me you need to prove to me that you really change, you know. But if they offering you cookie crumble, you don't even want to answer that if it's cookie crumble. They just want to uh, um, to feel better. But the you have other options. But you also can if they heal, if they heal, you could be with them in the future too. That is, if they come with the right package. Does that make sense? Does it, I hope this is making sense. But there is hope. There is hope. The wheels could turn. If they heal. If they heal. You are doing your healing. It is all up to them. And they are free will. You're not, you cannot force somebody to change unless they want to do it themselves, the healings. And you know what? Well, sometimes it happens, you know, you could, and, and, and it takes a long time. It takes a, you probably, I think you're being almost about more than nine months apart, right? But it takes a long time. So it could be nine months, it could be a year, sometimes it could be two years, sometimes it can be 10 years, 20 years before you meet that person again, 30 years before you meet that person and you had to go through this different episodes in your life and your journey and healing and growing and when you meet again you're ready for each other that can happen so there is no no set in stone here but at the moment at this particular moment you're getting a warning because you know they they're you're thinking about them because they're thinking about you and you may get that call or that message or that text and you you have to evaluate that. You have to evaluate yourself, know that you're worth it more than just cookie crumble. If they're just giving you cookie crumble, uh, you know, do not, if they say to you, I miss you, do not respond with that, I miss you. Do not respond with that. They just want to hear you saying, I miss you back. And that elevates them into back into their feeling, oh, Confidence, you know, oh, I got him still. You have grown. You have worked hard on yourself. You have worked hard on yourself to free yourself from being the, the little, you know, yes, sir, yes, mom, you know, because you value yourself. I hope this is making sense. Okay. You got free will. So when you get the met, this is kind of like preparing you for it. It's kind of preparing you for it. The, when you you be prepared for it, you know how to how to take that that message. I know it's it's a difficult time. I know it's a difficult, especially right now. <laughs> I spoke the last time about this is a period of time that the masculine divine masculine is going through healing, and and a lot of the masculine. They're starting to step up onto their mas masculine divine, you know. Uh, hello. Hello, words. Meow. <laughs> you like my kitty ears? I like my kitty ears. I kind of, I have all kinds of hair colors, but I love this hair color. I love my kitty ears. <laughs> it's one of my favorite. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's still got some charms. We got charms for you still. We're not done yet. Well... I hope that's making sense. So there's a lot of healing going on. I always change my hair color. Yes, I do. I enjoy doing that. It's fun. Okay. Stay in your will. Stay in your power. Stay in your power. Solar plexus. Okay. And don't fear the unknown. I know that's a fear that may attack the unknown. You know, when you get this, it's like you want to want to probably jump. I get you. You care for that person. And so when you hear from them, it's like, yeah. But just remember, remember, you, it's up to you 
to help them heal themselves. If you give in, the whole cycle is going to return and the whole thing is going to happen again like before. You have to go into this showing them that you have changed. Really. And when you do the changes, you do it for yourself. Not for them, for anybody else. For yourself. So don't fear the unknown. The unknown, it's, um, it's definitely there for you to, to have confidence in you. Definitely, I get chill and, and, and take care of you. This is more uh, of a pamper and, and, and take care of you. You are always first. Put, this is the time that you got to put yourself first. You definitely need to like nourish yourself. You will have victory over this though. You will have victory. <laughs> what are fairy readings? Uh, uh, the fairies, the fairies energies are around. It depends on who I call in. Uh, the fairies are always with me. And so when we're doing this reading, uh, when I do these readings, the fairies and angels. Now, the fairies are on earth. They understand our ego. And so they can tell us immediately things about on this immediately journey here. The angels, they don't care about the ego stuff. They just care about the elevating. So that's a balance between the fairies. The fairies keep you on the on the real on your life here and all that and work and all. And meanwhile, they, the the angels are focusing on you raising your vibration, you becoming more spiritual and all that. Does it make sense? So that's why the read here it's a balance. So it's telling, yeah, it is interesting. It's telling you know it's telling it will. To continue healing, like the angels are telling to keep healing. I mean, healing yourself, keep working on yourself, elevating your frequency. Meanwhile, the fairies are telling you, watch out, because they're coming. <laughs> this is going to happen, you know. So you have a balance of, on the message. So, yeah. Because they're telling you immediately think here. And meanwhile, it, and it is a combination of that he needs to continue healing himself, knowing that he's his higher vibration, knowing that he is, he's lifting, going up in vibration. And the fairies are making sure that don't let the ego confuse you on your on that. The ego will will that's where the ego comes when you allow the the cookie crumble, you know that they give you. And because then you know that when we accept those cookie crumbs, because we still don't have that self worth. Remember that. How worth it are you? Will you know you're worth it? You're worth it of everything. You the whole cookie. You know. And just freshly baked from the freaking oven and delicious. That's what you're worth it of. Not just the crumbles after being cool, right? So that's what the angels want you to focus on. And the fairies are warning you about that. So definitely, uh, I have, uh, again, for you, cinnamon sticks too. Cinnamon stick for you to uh, burn some cinnamon. Keep some cinnamon with you. I get to... Now, I get two letters, uh, the D and the Y. The whole damn cookie, damn right, damn right. You don't want the crumbs. And they're going to, the, the problem is because they are narcissistic. They're very nice. They want to, they're narcissistic because they haven't healed themselves. And they think if they throw a little crumb, they think you're going to come, you're going to go, The little crumbs, you're going to you gotta flow, blow it back at them. <laughs> that one bitch. <laughs> now you got two letters. <laughs> they go, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. You're going to go. <laughs> or if you like to be a doggy, here, doggy, doggy. <laughs> Whatever you want to be, kitty, cat, dog. Just make sure you want the whole cookie. <laughs> so we got a letter D and Y. Whatever D means for you, well, whatever the Y means for you. What I get is, don't forget that you are divine. You're a divine being. And you deserve the best, my, my cookie. <laughs> there you go. There you're beautiful. There yourself to not eat the crumbles. My cute little Will. <laughs> 
There you go, my friend. There you go, my friend. And you are divine. And you deserve the whole cookie. You deserve the whole cookie. <laughs> and dare you to those those crumbles. They dare you to blow away those crumbles when they're being given at you instead of falling for him. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hope you enjoyed this read today. Oh my God, Will. So that was, there you go. That was Will reading. I pulled more than like I pulled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. A lot of cards. <laughs> but you know what? Um, I needed to clarify that. It wasn't very clear in the beginning. I was like, what? You know, I, I knew that you had done work in healing yourself and getting better. It's like, what, 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 what? And that, it all makes sense after when I pull the extra card. So that's why, guys, you know what? I will do that if I have to. Absolutely. Because I want to get down to the message, right? <laughs> You're very welcome, my friend. And that's exactly what the spirits wanted to tell you, right? If the spirits wanted to tell you that message, obviously, you, we, I didn't know. I didn't know. They go... Kathy, you're next. I didn't know you were thinking about it. I didn't know I haven't talked to you about it. And obviously, you've been thinking about this person. And so, they wanted to warn you that the reason why is because you they are thinking of you. They're, they're definitely thinking of you. So, you know, we are... We are we are energetic, guys. We are so connected energetically. Like same with, uh, I don't know if she's still here, LaShawn. She says, oh my God, I haven't seen you. I was talking about you. She said that as soon as she saw me. How funny is that, right? Like like I appear and she hasn't seen me, right? So that, blessings to you too. <laughs> blessings, of course. You know, of course. You know, I care for you guys. So again, if I'm going to do a read, that's, that's what I do. If you guys need a... A private read too. It says one hour, but if I if during that hour there's more information to come, I may stay a little bit longer, and that's okay, right? Because we want to get down to the message, right? And I don't like rushing my reads, as you notice. I don't rush my reads. I just don't. I allow the message to come. And <laughs> so if you guys want private reads, absolutely go. Just go to divineinnerlove.com or ask me. Uh, a lot of so I've been repeating this a lot because a lot of you guys are used to my store. My old store does not exist anymore. They closed it, not me. They closed it. So I was forced to move all my stuff to some of the stuff is on my Etsy and some of the stuff are my school. But if you're in doubt, just go to divineinnerlove.com and they'll give you the Etsy store. They'll give you my school link. Everything is there if you want to read. And so if you guys go to those two panels, pay attention on this one here, okay? <laughs> Hi, Lynn! <laughs> If you guys go to those panels there, let's say you go to Etsy, if you like the price and you want to book one of those things, if you book here on my, or my PayPal is also on my webpage, but my PayPal is here, you can come get, remember that price. Let's, I think it's 110. If you book it on PayPal directly, take $10 off. I, uh, if you're going to do that, take the $10 off the reason they're more there because i have to pay those companies and that's why i wanted to keep everything the same price as i had before and it, it all stirred up for me but I, you've got the options you got the options okay so if you anything that you want you can talk to me or if you want to just go on 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 the paypal i will know i will definitely write you back say ah, i got your paypal and then i'll give you the schedule if you need a private read or a healing and a healing or private read, anything on those two that you choose to do, either an hour cleansing and protection, you make sure you take $10 off when you come with the PayPal, okay? Just because they are like that. So I'm just giving you your options, you guys. Alrighty, let's see. <laughs> Hello, Lynn. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. So we're going to go with, with Kathy right now. And after Kathy, I don't have anybody else. So if you guys want to get in the lineup, go ahead. Kathy, not a long wait, I tell you. Blessings, my friend, blessings. Though my thoughts 
floating away from everyone where no one can disturb. Uh, lives my soul in the God with God. Uh, 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 makes me <laughs> love in your heart. Absolutely. Um, uh, Kathy, Kathy, and anybody else after Kathy? There's nobody else. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> So if you want to be the next person, uh, you'll be next person if you do, if you do send uh, up. <laughs> you get the net, you'll be the next. Uh, and <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, Lynn. Will it rush? I know, right? Hi, Lynn Chris and hi, Lynn Johnson. There's two Lynn's today, so I'm going to say the last names. <laughs> and where is Kathy Boo? Kathy Boo, where are you, Kathy Boo? Boo. <laughs> but you know, there's a word too. Boo. Hi, boo. <laughs> People goes, hi, boo. <laughs> so we have the boo as boo. Or hi, boo. <laughs> Which one do you want to be today, Kathy? Which one do you want to be? <laughs> Don't I get a page? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Will, page for the book. Page for the book for Will. Thanks for reminding me. I got so into your reading that I lost the track. Page for Will, and then we go to Kathy. Meanwhile, Kathy, if you have a question, let me know. And wait, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Kathy, you want to roll the dice? Question is, you want to roll the dice, or do you want to stay with the five cards and and the and the charms? Page for Will. Page for Will. <laughs> I will, I will be, boo, hi, boo. <laughs> Let's see. Will, 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 what a higher self or Will. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. They actually put that word in here. Oh, my God. They actually put the word, the word. Oh, I never seen this one before, but no one ever got anywhere by giving a F <laughs> about what other people think. <laughs> so don't care what others think, because you know what? Nobody ever get anywhere by giving a F of what other people think about you. And if you're going to worry about, oh, if I don't answer what they're going to think about it, they're going to think, who cares? Who cares? What they, you know you. <laughs> Will, did you get that? All oh, these smokes. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. They actually put the, uh, uh, look. <laughs> Word here, right there. <laughs> that makes sense, though. That makes sense. They just straightforward. Hey, that's your higher self. Straightforward telling you that. That one bit. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> okay. Kathy. Kathy, you also have a choice. You want to keep, you want to play it safe. Keep the five cards and the charms. Or do you want to roll the dice? You get charms with that too. And remind me of the pink book for you, too, at the end of it. Oh, I'm going to put the pink book, too, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Will, for reminding. You guys remind me. If you did a, if you did a, definitely, if you got to read, remind me about the pink book if I forgot. Thank you so much. I get so sidetracked sometimes. Wee! Wee! <laughs> I get so sidetracked. Already. Miss Kathy, do you want to roll the dice? There's two dice in here. You could get five, five, ten cards. You can get six, six, get six, uh, 12 cards. You can get one, one, and get two cards. That's the chance you take. Or do you want to play it safe, get the five cards, and be safe? Have a great evening. Well, thank you so much for being here. I was, roll them. Look at that. What do you think, you guys? Should she roll it or should she play it safe? Should she roll it or should she play it safe? What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? She says roll them. Roll them. Okay, I got it. Okay, Kathy. Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> Tell me when to stop.
tell me when to stop. <laughs> tell me when to stop. Say stop. Now don't keep me all night here. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy, give Kathy good luck here. Come on, come on, Kathy. Tell me when to stop. She's keeping me on. Stop already. Kathy, do you want to keep it? You got two more choices if you want to keep it. Do you want to keep it? It's okay. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Do you want to roll again? It's okay. Or you want to keep it, or you want to roll again. Either way, I think it's okay. It's your choice. <laughs> Put it this way. When I say it's okay, it's more than five cards. So, roll them again. Okay, are you sure? Are you sure? So, so you know, you got a four and a three. Four and three keeps falling today, you guys. Number seven. Seven. Guys, honestly, seven. Like seven, seven, seven. We just went through the portal of seven, seven, which was on the 7th of July 7. And seven, those two numbers, three and four, three and four, three and four. It just kept falling. This is the third time. Third time. Roll them again. All righty. Kathy. Wow. It's your lucky number. We're rolling it now. We're rolling. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Wow. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> Beyond got the same thing earlier, too. Tell me when to stop. And I'm not doing any no tricks, guys. I'm just shaking that crap out of this thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, you have another roll, the dice. You want to roll the dice? Or I'm going to offer you if you want to keep the first. You want to take another chance and roll it again? And you definitely want to roll it. Or do you want to keep the one, the first one? What is it going to be? <laughs> this is the fun part of this. Da 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 Tick tock, tick tock. What are you gonna be? You gonna roll it again? Are you gonna keep it? You know, <laughs> or you wanna keep the first one? Or you wanna keep the first? I will take the seven. She's keeping the seven. This was three cards. <laughs> it's a two and a one. <laughs> She's keeping the seven cards. Seven cards. It is Kathy. It's like. Seven cards it is. You guys like that? <laughs> it's kind of fun, isn't it? I, I, it's exciting. <laughs> it's like the price is right. Okay, Kathy, seven cards it is. Now, Kathy, do you have a question or you prefer a spirit to talk to you? Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh, God. That's our word. That's our word with Kathy. Boo! <laughs> Kathy, is spirit or you have a question? I'm already putting your energy for Kathy. And then the pens. No question, just spirit. You got it. Ooh. Wow, did you see that? Which one is? Oh, look at the one that fell. Did you see how that flew for you? Oh, wow. We got flying cards for you. Flying cards. Ooh. Oh, my God. They're all flying. Oh, wow. Interesting. Do you see that? Do you see that? Which deck? I'm pulling a lot of tarots today, too. I'm, I've been playing a lot with the tarots. The tarots are so cool. I love how they, these cards. Hmm. Wow. Wow. You've been meditating, have you? You've been working on yourself. And you being also guarding your energy, you being protecting yourself. Look at that. So you've been working on your energy has been bouncing 
of lately. Yes, and that's because I don't know if you heard what I was talking about. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of shifts going on, and it's man-made, and it's no secret. It's not a BS thing that I'm just saying. Um, they activated the CERN and they cranked it up, and that's supposed to actually mess up with all of us <laughs> Man, because it's changing the lifetime time life and also opening portals and black holes and all kinds of energy and their intentions was negative right the intention was for them to they want to bring um, negative entities that's their intention but you know when they open portals not they are they are focusing on the negative entities and all that. But when you open portals, anything can come in through there, right? <clears throat> so the negative, the don't, and the, I'm not telling you this for you to be feared. The Galactic Federation has informed me and other light workers. There's other light workers that have been telling the same, the same thing that I'm telling you. So you may hear, I don't know if somebody else, you hear the same thing. Either they heard from me or they got the message. Either way. Because I was telling you guys before I heard, I told you guys on the 4th, nobody were talk, nobody was really talking about this on the 4th. I was, I was the first one talking to you guys. But then uh, I, all the, the information from the Galactic Federation, all the people have been getting the same message. So good. So their information to us is for us to do not stay in, in the low frequencies you're going to get poked. That's why on and off energies, uh, you may have body pains, you know, bouncing off lately, right? Those are pokings. They want to poke you to keep you in the low frequency. Maybe you have body pains too, body pains, you're not feeling well and stuff like that. That's to keep you low. You just get up that day and continue on with your journey. Continue on in your purpose on what you're doing. Hours every day. And this is since, and I told everybody on the 5th, wake up. Uh, it's from it's starting from the fifth, and you're if you didn't hear on the fifth today, you're listening. Every day you wake up, what are you gonna do to better yourself and elevate yourself? It's with the that's the purpose for now on, and focusing on that. And anything that tries to poke you, you're not gonna give them the energy because you are focusing on bettering yourself. We're going to use those energies for our benefit because we are aware of it. A lot of people are not aware of it, unfortunately. A lot of people think I'm cuckoo. A lot of people think I'm crazy. Or people, all the light workers are crazy that are talking about this. They, and they're not going to listen. They're just going to think they're having a bad day. And they're having the They're going to think they have bad luck and all that. And they're going to this low entity uh, uh, beings or energies will go in them and control their mind, the thoughts. But they're going to think that they're themselves. You can't, unfortunately, you can't, you can't force anybody to, to listen to you or anything like that. You need to focus on you. And the fact that the, the, there's going to be a lot of chaos going on because a lot of people are low frequency, that this, this stuff is going to get to, this is to create chaos. So this is where you, us, we're going to stay raising our vibration no matter what comes our way. <laughs> no matter what comes our way and crap will come our way. I am warning you guys, but you just going to go, ah, entertainment. I don't, whatever it is happening, you continue elevating yourself. You'll be fine. Okay. You don't want to give in into the, in the pokings. I know it's hard. I know it's that easy. And no matter, and everybody's going to be poked. Whatever hurts you the most. It's all personally. Your personal, whatever hurts me the most is going to poke me. Whatever hurts you the most is going to poke you. Whatever hurts any of here most to each of you on your in, each personal life will poke you. Okay? So stay strong. And so that's what they're telling you. Hang in there, Kathy. Hang in there and keep working on your protection. Okay? Keep working on your protection. You're safe. Okay? You're safe. Just focus on the purpose, on your purpose, okay? Keep working on your purpose, 
on what you want, what makes Kathy happy. You are safe, okay? As long, continue working, but hang in there, okay? Just hang in there and do your meditation, work on yourself. But you definitely, all this hard work that you're putting on to this is definitely going to pay off. It is going to pay off. And you're going to get out from whatever murky waters you're going. You're going to go into the light, into the sun. There's good things, it, it, the things, good things at the end of the tunnel. Know that. Just understanding, the understanding of this bouncing off of the energies, you understand why. See? You understand why. And once you understand the why, you can, okay. Hmm. And so you understand that your ego is going to want to grab this wise. Your ego wants to stay. Oh, I want to. No. And then you allow your higher self to say, oh, nope. Nope. I'm going, I'm continuing on my purpose. And make sure you do your protection. Do your meditation is really, really, honestly, you guys, with this, with this portals opening right now. Okay, with this portals opening right now. You also have the connection of the best version of you. The best version of you is happening in this lifetime. Your you, the one that is successful, the one that wants what you want right now in this vibration right now, it's already happening right now. So taking the advantage when you do this meditation to align yourself to your to the you not imagine yourself having what you want it's change it's change before i used to tell you guys imagine yourself having what you already want well the lifetime has changed into that person that you want to be it's already happening all you need is to bring your vibration align it to it and in order to do that, on the meditations, we'll teach you, that's why I say it's meditation. On the meditations, we'll, you will get the message of what is things that you need to change about you right now. Shift things that you need to change. Even sometimes it's simple as me, even food, what we eat. Funny, eh? I know. Even food or, uh, again, I keep saying habits. Sometimes we have good habits, but we want a, a new habit. We want to change that good habit into a better habit. We can do that. And so create a, find a habit that you want to replace it with. And that's how you do after 30, years, 30 days, you get used to that new habit. And so it is a working process. This is time to focus on you and on your every day making each day you become a better you every day you wake up it's a better version of you and the more you're doing that you're actually aligning yourself to that kathy that boo that is has everything that the kathy right now wants hang in there and just keep working on aligning yourself because that is already happening so once you're aligned to that self, you're vibrating. It's the vibration that will take you to that Kathy and you'll unite to that one Kathy. It's funny, right? It's complicated. It's, 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 it's hard to explain. It is, but do you understand what I'm saying, Kathy? And you know, you continue doing your hard work, definitely is going to pay into taking you out of, into that beautiful light. And that's what is, that's what's happening. And that's what it's your energy. That's what it's telling you. Is that making sense? <laughs> oh my goodness! I hope I I hope I didn't confuse you on that one. I know it's pretty it's pretty intense and uh, messages here. Like I know the messages are a little bit off the guard, off their grid right now. But I'm I'm just being straightforward. With the Galactic Federation wants me to tell you guys straightforward. Without even cookie crumb, just just cookie. <laughs> it's not cookie, like uh, without me putting rainbows into it. But I'm being straightforward. What boom, boom, boom? This is exactly what's happening. There's no, there. We don't have time to 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 try to. We need to understand this. That's the whole point. We need to be straightforward. Not really. I have being in a really good space. Yeah. So that's good. 
that's good. You are in a good space. Continue making that space a better space. <laughs> because there's more. Oh, good, Kathy, there's so much more in your horizons that you don't even see, but amazing things. See, it has been easier and clear. Perfect. Perfect. And you're getting downloading all the information from the, that. And every day, you're in a good space right now. Me too. But tomorrow, it's going to be a better place. And after tomorrow, it's going to be even better. Because, you know, there is so much more that you, maybe you don't see it yet. But there's so much more blessings coming your way. So, yeah. And because of the pokings, the pokings will try to poke you. And so that the more you advance, you also give a little room of those little times that you do a little bit backwards because of the pokings, but you are in that good space still. Does that make sense now? <laughs> that makes sense. But they say all your hard work and all that is definitely going to pay off. Definitely. You're definitely moving into the, into the brighter sun. Like you're moving towards that. But definitely continue, you know, continue protecting yourself. Continue, continue focusing on your purpose. You are safe. You are safe. Do your protection. <laughs> Medi I'm so, yeah, it totally, I can see you're doing meditation. You continue doing that. And it's, the more you do, the more clear, the more, uh, the more, uh, the more you, you raise that by the more you will know you. That's so good. That's so good, girl. Meditation is one of the keys right now. Absolutely. Because you're connecting to your higher self. You silently, you silence every, all the noise, all the ego, and you're connecting to your higher self. That, con, do continue doing that. And, and if anybody don't do that, guys, do your meditations. It, it is not just, it's so much more than what you can imagine. And the more you do it, the better you become at it, the better your life becomes. You be, you can have, and again, something that at one time you will freak out now, like, yeah, it is what it is. Next. And that's how you do it. Things will happen, you guys, in our lives, no matter how good our life is, things will happen. But how do you take that, whatever comes your way, how do you take it? Are you going to have a drama or it, or are you going to go, what? It is what are you gonna do, right? And you keep moving. That's the key. It is what it is. Move forward. Or drama and lower yourself. Like what's your choice, right? When you meditate, it's easier for us to come out of whatever stones are being thrown thrown at us to keep moving forward. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense? But uh, definitely do not do not put all your eggs in one basket and keep again keep focusing on yourself and, and and taking good care of you that is so important do not follow everybody that might no we're not gonna do that right we're not gonna do that you're gonna focus on kathy kathy will follow kathy kathy will have you will engage yourself to yourself to continue on your higher vibration on your purpose on your purpose money is on the way <laughs> extra money you always get the money i think you do good with money because money you always get the money look at that money 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 <laughs> and your cinnamon sticks everybody's getting cinnamon sticks today cinnamon sticks burn those cinnamon sticks i've been burning my cinnamon stick every day again it's for protection for love, self-love, or attracting love, the love. Anything that is love, welcome, right? And on top of that, for money. <laughs> money, money, money. If that makes sense now, did that make sense? Did that make sense, Kathy? I want to make sure it makes sense because you know me. You know me. I want to make sure it makes sense to you. And if I have to pull more energy, more cards and stuff like that, so we can clear clear to you, I want you to always go with a clear message so you can apply your message. It worked for I. It worked for self love, not attracting it. Boom, beautiful. Yeah, it, it, and it is like this, you guys. 
The more you work on yourself, it is not a selfish thing. The more you love yourself and the more you, you accept your... And remember, flaws. What is a flaw? It's a man-made thing. It's not real. It's not real. The man created the flaw, so we will judge ourselves based on the man creation of flaws. But the truth is, you are God creation. You are a masterpiece. You are beautiful, no matter who you are. But because of man created flaws, and it was it was also programming to ourselves to think that we have flaws. So we grew, a lot of us, and most of us grew up thinking something, we're missing something, or we're too this, or we're too that, we're too short, we're too high, we're this. That is all men, men, and, you know, so there's no flaws. Some, somewhat, it makes sense, not sure why spirits keep giving the message to me. Of, keep, make, uh, okay, because... I know, I think I know why. Because you are saying, I'm okay now. And you're not, uh, maybe because you're not open to keep growing. They want you to keep growing. Um, I think that's what it is. Uh, they want you to, to don't limit yourself. You say you're, everything is perfect right now. Beautiful. But there's room for more. So much more. So a lot of people say, oh, I, I think I'm happy where I'm right now. And spirits, spirits just want to say, saying to you that you deserve even more. You're, yeah, you're happy. You got everything. Beautiful. Guess what? You deserve more, sweetie. <laughs> That's what the spirits are saying to you. So they want you to be open to receive more. That's, that's a good thing. And, and you know, a lot of people get to the point that, you know what? I got everything I needed. I got the perfect job. I got the money. I got the house. I got everything. I think I'm cool. I'm done. That stops you from evolving to moving. Every minute that we are on earth, we need to be teachable. We need to keep growing. The minute we say we stop growing, so what's the purpose? Life, we stop growing. We stop, you know, advancing. Does that make sense now? But they are, they see more. See, you say uh, I'm, I'm, everything is good, but they see more. They see more on you. Whoa, a lot more. Quite a bit more. <laughs> Is it now makes us? I am never done for sure. Mm -mm, no, exactly. And, that, and they just want to make sure you know that. That's all. To, to know, continue on your purpose, continue growing. They want, they want to, you to do that. You see, that's what's happening. They want you to do that. And they're so eager to tell you that you have so much more coming your way that you cannot even imagine. There's so many things you don't even can't even imagine. Like you, you and I, I think I see you going like, what else can it be there? You know, what is there that uh, that will be a surprise? It will be a surprise. Yeah, so much more to accomplish. So much more. <laughs> blessings so much blessings coming your way and sometimes we don't even see, i know i get it i myself like hmm. and they the universe surprised me sometimes i go whoa really <laughs> wow let's pull up page for the let's pull up page for you let's see what your higher self wants to tell boo kathy 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 right here <gasps> You, oh, oh, God, you cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. You'll be, oh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> You'll be surprised. <laughs> you cannot make this stuff up. Um, I, you saw me flipping the page in front of you. It's not that I, I didn't even know that was in this. I haven't opened everything. You know what? This book surprises me because I didn't went page by page and look at them. I, I haven't. But I've never seen this one in here. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Oh, my God. You cannot make this stuff up. Boom. 
Boom, Kathy. Kathy, I hope that makes sense. Wow. <laughs> I love it when this happens. And I, I'm looking forward to see it. I mean, you're a wonderful person. And I, I know you totally deserve. Wow. <laughs> You're boo. <laughs> oh, my God, boo. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, oh, my God. <laughs> That is funny. Oh my goodness. That is funny. That's funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was you. You are very welcome. Well, nobody else in the in the list as me. I'm gonna go home early. <laughs> I finished the list, you guys. Anybody else? Do you want me anybody? I have I came here to hang around with you guys. If you guys want to go on the list, I'm happy to take you. Next time, I'll be back on Monday. I'll be back on Monday. <laughs> I'll be back on Monday. And uh, because I only had three, you guys going to go on the spin the wheel on Monday's list. It has to be at least five people on the spin the wheel. So we got to put uh, Dion, um, Will, and Kathy on the spin the wheel for Monday. Unless two more people comes right now, then we got that spin the wheel today. But I don't think there, uh, I think we're having a little bit of, uh, today they were upgrading. Again, first of all, starting with yesterday, all Canada, most of Canada had internet issues and they probably still fixing through it and all that. And I was like, hmm, I'll show up. You know, I did have somebody else show up. I wasn't expecting to, I didn't felt that I was going to be too busy. I only shows two people here. So that's probably other people are enjoying the summer or people are still dealing with, uh, yesterday was chaos, Kathy. Oh my God. Canada was chaos. So a lot of people couldn't go work. A lot of people couldn't do their shopping. A lot of people could. So probably everybody's trying to catch up all the Canadians. I don't know in the United States what's going on, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But I'll be back. Um, and again, it's summertime. Many places, everybody's out enjoying the summer or just sleeping or resting. A lot of people are tired too. A lot of people are feeling back pains and not feeling well and they're resting and that I get it. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't hear the news yesterday? Woo, was a crazy. And that's why I keep telling people, keep some cash with you. Keep always cash with you. You never know. Don't depend on those little cards. Don't depend on their interact. Yesterday, that was proof that that's not a thing to depend on, you know. And people were stuck. People couldn't fill up the gas. People couldn't buy in the shopping. They couldn't buy food. They couldn't do much. They couldn't even take money out of the bank. That's how bad it was. And it was all over Canada. Yeah. You're just sleeping beauty. Yeah, you know, a lot of people, that's another thing. A lot of people are tired because of this energy frequencies. We're feeling tired too. So a lot of people are resting. They, You know what? And sometimes we cannot even stand the, the a lot of people don't even want to look at the screen. I get it. So I felt that was going to happen today, kind of. But I didn't do a, I didn't pull a boo, okay? I'm here. <laughs> you know, the spirits tell me, show, go, go for it. You guys needed to, all of the, the three, you guys, the three of you guys needed to hear the message. It was a good message for the three of you. So they send me to say, you got it. But sometimes they tell me, you know what? No. So I know I'm going to get a boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> uh, definitely, if you want a reading, you can go donate up there. Da Naja Elise Horton. So definitely, sure, if you want to be the next person. Again, I don't have a list. <laughs> you donated again, Will? You got it. You got it. Will, let's go take a look at Will. Will wants some more reading. Do you have a question now? you have a question to go with that, Will? Let me go back and check it here. You got it. Okay. And so let's see. You did the, the roll the dice again, Will? Will, your name will go two times on the on the spin the wheel next time, okay? Um, and the, um, let me just... So let's go back to Will. So and um, da, da Naja. 
look up here and that's all the it starts at 10 15 whatever you want all the options there now will will did a 25 <laughs> yes that's how it goes today uh there's no free readings here no um <laughs> he wants to roll the dice so when you do, do the 25 you have an option of getting five cards in charms or roll the dice in charms of course but let's roll the dice he wants to roll the dice so tell me will when to stop when to roll in the dice please tell me when to stop rolling the dice and will 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 <laughs> will tell me when to stop Will, 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 Tommy wants to stop. Will, 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 stop. It's okay, yeah. Do you want to keep it? You want to roll again? Not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's my favorite number. It's my favorite number. <laughs> if you know me, you know what's my favorite number. <laughs> Keep it or roll it again. Take another chance or keep it. Let's see. Keep it. It's eight. It's a six and a two. Number eight for infinitive. Yeah, I like that number eight. <laughs> okay, now you do say you have, let me put a number eight here. Eight is my lucky number. And Kathy, Kathy knows. Kathy knows. <laughs> she knows my lucky number. So, Will, you say you have a question. What's your question? Let's see what the let's 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 see what the question, and then I'll see which deck wants to come out for that. <laughs> for Will, let's see what your question is. Let's see the question. Woohoo, Will! <laughs> There's a lag too, right, you guys? You notice that? There's a little of a lag. That's even, I noticed, it's a lag. Even Dion had a little bit of issues. Okay, should I keep working on my painting business or cut it off and pursue something else? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to bring Pendula here too. Whoa, okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see what the cards want to say to you. Okay, so what I'm getting for you so far. Oh yeah. 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 Looks like you have ideas for for new stuff. You cannot make this stuff up. Look, she's painting. They want you to keep your painting job, your business. They want you to keep, keep that. You cannot make that stuff up, right? But... Um, making sure here okay so i asked pendula should he keep his painting business and say yes and then i asked should he do something else they say yes what i'm getting here for you is don't don't again this is your stinky thinking right don't uh block yourself from again remember i think earlier you did got the um, yeah, don't 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 limit yourself. Uh, you obviously have some ideas for something new, and they say you got you are the in charge of that. You are the emperor. You are the emperor. Okay. Um, you definitely make make that decision of doing continue doing your painting in this new thing. You go for it. You charge it. Do it. Money will come out of it. Definitely, you're gonna have money. Your your wheel is definitely you. You can you can 
you can manifest this. You just make sure you keep yourself balanced during the two. You know how to balance whatever two things you need to do. Listen, Will, I myself do different things. I do different things. And I, you know, I don't stop myself from doing what I do that I love to do. And I have other things that I love to do because we have, we are open. We're definitely, you can do both. Yeah. That's what they're saying to you. You don't lose, you know, you definitely have a lot of hope into proceeding into making extra money and being that empress. Now the empress is for girls or boys, the empress, the abundance, you got everything. The empress, you have the ability to, to have it all. But definitely your painting is you you definitely got it. but those new ideas that you have coming go for it do both do both do not trap yourself and the thinking i only have to do one thing so sometimes your painting is not busy and then you will have the other thing that you need to do and you balance both you balance both i i do so many things like <laughs> But I love doing it all. I'm not going to stop doing one because I love I'm balancing it all. I'm doing it all at once. And and at the same time, you intertwine them too sometimes, you know. Can I ask a pendula if I'm moving? Okay, yeah, we can ask that. Absolutely. Let's show, is, Will, are you planning to move again? <laughs> Off is Will, show me yes. Show me no. Is Will going to move? again yes you will move again is it going to be soon uh it's not giving me a yes or no on the soon it's because we everything already happened and here goes again with this shift of paradigms the shift of timelines the just do it. Just just don't put a time and follow your heart and it's already happened. <laughs> so they're not they're not they don't like giving time because time does not exist. Real time doesn't exist. As humans accepted it. That's a human contract that we accepted time. That's why they are giving you eh. But you will move again. I haven't moved yet from that last read. <laughs> For the last read. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's up to you. Remember, they see you moving. They see everything. But our move, we change. Remember all these readings and all this? We can change the outcome. It's our actions, what we do, and the decisions that we take. So the move, it looks there. It looks that like you're going to move. But you need to do the action and make that decision. If you don't make that action decision, you have the free will to change that to not do so. But they see it. They see it. But they're not giving you a time. It makes sense? You're in the same you're in the same spot for four years. That's okay. That's okay. You know what? Well, I was supposed to move on 2021. Remember, the paradigms have changed. They have changed a lot of uh, on 2020, we walked into a different portal. Everything changed. Everything changed. Absolutely. And so, before 2020, I also had a plan. I had it all planned up. It was all lined up, ready to go. I was going to move in 2021. But when we cross 2020, that's a different portal. Believe it or not, we have jumped into a different portal, you guys. That's that we are not if you look around it's not before if you remember 2019 and then after 2020 how everything shifted it's because we actually jump into a different portal and so that's that changes everything so that move that i was going to do too that it was so yes was a big yes it didn't happen things didn't align didn't pan out too and then you know what? I realized, you know what? I'm glad that happened because I really didn't want it. Now that I see in a different, again, in this new energy, now I, I wanted it then. I don't want it now. And we can change contracts. We can change the contract. I know, right? Ah, it's just we're, we're getting, honestly, you guys, 
were being taken for roller for a huge roller coasters right we've been being, you know we've been taking oh my god <laughs> and now just now with all that 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 they're cranking up all that that's that's another thing to deal with <laughs> isn't it fun it's fun uh, you know what and that's why we go with the flow and uh that's why I say, it, you already, <laughs> time does not exist. The past, the present, and the future is all happening now. And you already moved, actually. <laughs> you already moved. But now you got to align yourself, that frequency, to actually be in that spot. <laughs> that, I know, I, I, you poor guys. You're like, oh my God, Diane. <laughs> You already moved. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, okay? There's so many choices. And it stay in your heart on, again, on working on the self-love and all that. That's fine. You definitely, remember, but you see, what you did, Rush, um, uh, uh, Will, I rem if I remember well, you fire your boss and you became your own boss, right? You did changes. You did a lot of wonderful changes then. You were a little bit afraid to do so, but look at you. Like, you are your own boss. And that is a huge move. It's That was a move right there. <laughs> so, am I going to move? They say yes. And, the, you know, and us, we think move, move. But no, you ended up moving energy, too. So... <laughs> So that's how you see you move, you move, you move. Continue nourishing yourself. Very important. You continue nourishing yourself and continue looking at the sweet spot of everything. Turn everything into sweetness. Anything you don't like, you ring the bell and you don't accept it. Anything you don't like, any negative energies, anything you you ring the bell at it and you don't accept it. You don't. It's not no. And and chill. And enjoy the moment, each moment, step by step. Enjoy today and keep making the best out of today. And that's what I'm going to, Will. I wanted to move. I was so bent into moving. Now, I'm not even planning into it. I'm allowing it to line up. I still want to move. But I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to try to control it. There's reasons why... We are still, you're still where you are. I'm still where I am. They want us in that position. There is a reason why we're still there. It is, even though I honestly really try, <laughs> I feel it's coming my way. Yeah, I, me too. And I, I, tr and this is, this is again in this new portal, in this new energy, we have to really trust that the universe has got our back and yes you got to do your actions but not as hard as it used to be but allowing it to not try to control too much but letting your ideas and let it flow nicely and do it and do what you need to do without putting resistance and the opportunities when it's time to move the job or the other ideas may lead you into the moving See, it will line up. But know in your heart that you're going to, and it's going to happen. The when, let's not go there. Trust the universe. I know, right? This is, again, as it sounds easy to do, and it, it is actually, yeah, it is easy. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes, I'm gonna, I haven't forgot, I'm going to pull another one of this. Sometimes we... Um, we may be at a point that maybe you have certain, certain, you think you have certain time. Oh my God, I only have a limit of time for this. And you feel like you're at the end and it's not happening. And you know what? Almost like you can say things will turn around towards a half an hour just before the due time or date. Miracles do happen. So when you have faith and trust, Either you come up with a brilliant idea that 
turns that cre you create your own miracles too. Remember that. So either you come up with a brilliant idea that boom, 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 everything works out. At the end, something you didn't have an idea. That's the divine giving you the idea. So yeah, miracles do happen, you guys. Miracles do happen. Keep that in mind. And, and trust that you can definitely, definitely, sh things can change from one minute to another one. Anything can change from this minute to the next minute. From this minute to the next minute, everything, your whole entire life can change. Through any, any direction, right? So let's stay into that positive outcome, knowing that the universe has got your back. And understand that whatever comes your way, sometimes, sometimes some things, sometimes any from one minute to another one, something can happen that it doesn't look good. But you have to understand that maybe that had to happen because it's taking you to where you need to go. And at the moment, it may need the what the heck, you know. Do not focus on how terrible, why did that happen to me, but more understand that this is happening to me because I know this had to happen. A tower moment sometimes, tower moment, uh, sometimes tower moment deletes, deletes everything from you. A complete destruction of everything in your life sometimes. But that is just taking away what it no longer serves you because it's taking you to a different direction. But as the human ego, we tend to, why this had to happen to me? What a disaster. Oh, I lost hope. That's the ego, right? But if we go, this is the, this really sucks what's happening, but I understand that this is happening for my best of me. And I'm looking forward to see where is this taking me to, right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? And, 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 and it's hard. It is hard when things like that happen. Let's see what the book. Let's see. Will, 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 Will. What are we going to tell Will? <sighs> you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to freak out today on these books. I'm going to freak out. Are you ready to hear what you meant? Your imagination is a legitimate source of knowledge and meaning believe. Boom, my goodness, my goodness. What you believe on, you will manifest, that's for sure. What you believe on, it's what you believe. Having that faith is believing, right? Your imagination is a legitimate source of knowledge and meaning believe. Believe. Chills. Yeah, this book is starting to scare that crap out of me. <laughs> that book started to scare. To you know what? Again, I mean, the tools are there. You see, the reason is okay. Cards, book, and all that. Because as humans, sometimes I do hear them, but most of us don't hear them. Right? We don't hear them. They want to talk. They're constantly talking to us. The universe is constantly working for us. But as in our ego, we, we don't allow the universe to help us. So when you come for those readings and all that, I again, I get my ego, shh, get away. And I allow whatever information they're giving me. And even, even sometimes it doesn't make sense to me, but I, it's your information. I need to give it to you. And opening that, those are tools to help them communicate with us. But it's giving me the freaking chills today. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what is the spin of the wheel? What is, okay, so the wheel, um, I need at least five people. And so you're going to have two entries on Monday. Unless somebody else, if somebody else, let me see. If somebody else did a donation here, let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else? Let's see. No, nobody else. Okay, so on Monday, um, uh, Monday for sure, we'll put the, the spindle of the wheel. <laughs> so I put all your names on it. Everybody who, everybody who, who did a donation. Uh, at least, I need at least five people. But uh, when we spin it, the winner, the winner, I will, at the same, in the spot, I will 
read the week of your zodiac. So let's say you're a cancer. I will read the cancer because of you. Let's say you are a cancer. I don't know what you are, but if you're a cancer, right? I will read uh, the what this week cancer to expect this week. So every, because of you, everybody who's cancer gets that read too. But you, it's more based on you kind of, but of your cancer energy. But um, definitely the other cancers get too. Do you, you don't need to be present. No, you don't need to be present. Uh, I will do it at the end of the life. I usually, I, I was doing a separate video before, but what happened is some people who had a reading, that's what it made me thought, uh, uh, and that they never had a reading with me. I couldn't find them because what I used to do, a little video, post it and share it with them. I couldn't find them. So I do it at the end of the video. So even if those people go back to the video, they can go at the end of the video and watch that. And anybody who, you know, whoever who wins is at the end of the video. But I used to do a separate before. I just kind of like your Aries. Ooh, Aries. Aries, <laughs> you're fire. Yeah, you're fire. Um... You're going through so Aries, you know, you definitely, um, you do, you do, you do, you do think a lot. You do think a lot. You work a lot too. You're a very hardworking person. But you've been thinking, Aries has been very thinking, a lot of thoughts in your mind these days, a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking, missing, missing people, thinking, yeah, yeah. Sounds great. I see you Monday. Yeah. <laughs> but Aries at this moment with, okay, so Libra is right now. Libra is, uh, there's a lot going on with Libras, okay? Because it your sign is on retrograde. So Libras expect some turbulence, but it's all for your own good. Keep that in mind. So if you're a Libra, it's a little turbulence is going to happen to you, uh, but there's a lot of healing that you need to do. There's a lot of work you need to do, Libras. But the areas what's happening um, is that a lot of the karma energy is happening to the areas. Um, there's the areas that cause the karma, and the areas that there's, you will say the victim. You're you're not the one who caused it. You are the victim one. Um, but you're not a victim. You're a victor. But what I'm trying to say is that it was done to you. But a lot of areas are the one who done a lot of a lot of um, ego. They they base themselves on the ego. Well, you're different. You've been working on yourself. You're not for. You're not allowing your ego drive you which you are in a different position. But a lot of areas, they allow the ego to take them uh, into a direction that they weren't supposed to, but they chose a direction. And so now they're gonna, they are the ones paying the karma and they are the ones who are gonna go back to ask for forgiveness. That in your case is the opposite. That's so cool, Will. In your case, it's the opposite, but everything that is happening to you, Will, a lot of areas is happening the opposite way, right? <laughs> that's so cool because you've been working on yourself. And that's the areas, a lot of them are working on raising on themselves. And so you're already doing the work, but a lot of them are starting to realize. So you know how I say to you that you need to let that other person heal because you've done the healing is the other person an Aries too by chance is that other person an Aries that's a good question actually because maybe it's Aries with Aries and then the other Aries needs the healing and you're done your healing but the Aries are doing a lot of healing and a lot of them are still stuck in their ego they're not they're they're so stuck in the ego they're not doing the healing but the other person is a cancer yeah, cancer, cancer. Cancer is a pretty good sign. I'm amazed. They must be rising. They must be connected to to other areas or something. Like, you know, sometimes you could be a cancer, but, you know, sun rising on another. 
I know um, Margarita, I think she's a Scorpio or she is rising. She She's not a Scorpio, but I, she's Sagittarius, but she goes a lot by Scorpio because she's. I think she's rising on Scorpio and she feels more of the Scorpio energy. Remember, guys, different of us have different um, sun and moon rising. So just because you're a Cancer, let's say, doesn't mean that you act like a cancer because you're you got a strong rising on a, in another so yeah <laughs> it's so crazy isn't it <laughs> so you, you need to understand yourself which which like i know like i say margarita she's she she calls herself a scorpio but really she's not born in scorpio but she's got the rising on that because she she goes by that but she's also a sagittarius so you can go with two <laughs> blah 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 my god tells me we could work but just confuse non-cookie crumble that's okay so yes and that's what i'm saying to you yes you could work yeah but they haven't done so in a normal basis um who did wrong to who you or her or the other person who did the wrong to who you know who 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 did the wrong um, normally would have been probably Arius. Arius is the one who decided to run. Arius got scared. Like, I know Arius, a lot of Arius are getting scared, especially when it comes to relationship. They're so into their work. And they run without explanation. Kind of ghosting. So they, they need to, because they got scared they allow the ego to so if you're the one who run then you need to do the work i feel like it was the other way around i'm not sure on that one but if you're the one who run away ghosting then you need to you and you've been working i don't think it was you no i think it was the other way around so they need to do the healing not you let's hear about it let's see rush uh, well i got time this is pretty interesting Maybe a couple of years from now, I was the toxic one and he chose to ghost me. And that's when my healing started. They ghosted you, but they ghosted you, right? So they're the ones who run away. And that, it, that, it did help you heal, that's for sure. And that ghosting forced you to realize that, whoa. What did I do, right? But not a reason to go somebody. If you care for somebody, you will not go somebody. So it left you hanging. But that left you hanging is um, a healing for you to realize. Now the other person needs to heal too. Because they ghosted you. I thought it was they ghosted you. Yeah, yeah taught me to love myself exactly but they need because they goes to you now see that's the reason why right it was a lesson and it, that was the, the reason they came in into your life to teach you that lesson and now you you know and they never call you back nothing they let you cold out there cold and you suffer you hurt and you dealt with it so now don't think they're going to just come in here and give you cookie crumble. Because you know what? They needed to heal themselves too. You also show them too. So it was a refraction on both of you. So now the one who goes, he needs to, is the one who needs to step up. He's the one. Who, you don't go back after him because he goes to you thinking, ah, I can get him anytime like that. He'll come back. You know, he'll come back. But it's not like that, right? It's not like that. Uh, you were jealous. You were needy. Okay. But that's not a reason to go somebody. You weren't hurtful. You were not hurtful. You were needy. Yeah. You were jealous. Yeah. Because you didn't, you, you, you know, you, you know, had, you felt insecure. There was insecurities. That's not a reason to go somebody you care. But he did. But that's okay. You needed that. So that's, thank you. But now that person needs to know, understand that. You know what? 
I, uh, it takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. So now you need to empower them for them to heal themselves. And yes, once they heal themselves, yes, you can come together. Absolutely. There is hope. But it's all after. The thing is that I don't want to say, yes, it's hope. I can't talk for them. They have free will. And it's up to them if they want to do the healing and do that. And you can't force anybody, unfortunately. As much as you know you have a connection, as much as you feel the energies, and they feel you, unfortunately, you can't force them to be with you. So you need to respect that, right? But when they do come and call you, they're not going to be. And I know you're ready. If they call you, like you, you're ready to jump and say, yeah. <laughs> but that's not cool. No. So that's mean they, if they jump, yeah, that's mean they can ghost you again and they'll do it again. Because then you haven't healed. I know, right? Doesn't it really suck? <laughs> but it is. It is. Uh, I know. Trust me. I, I, I learned my lessons too. Oh, I know. I know that. <laughs> my life where I just knew start with something new. And yeah, if you're ready to start. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I will. Yeah, definitely keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. But they will, they may come, they will try to come back. And that's, you'll be prepared for it. You'll be prepared because you got a soft spot for him. Even though it's funny, you forget about them, you move forward. But it, they, the minute they show up, you melt. Your heart start going pumping and all that, right? <laughs> I mean, I want someone new. I know, I know, absolutely. And absolutely, yes, you have that option too. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely move forward. Keep, and again, keep focusing everything that you do, do it for you, not for anybody else, not to get nobody back. Not, not, you're not doing it for no games. You're just doing it for you, for yourself, because you know you're worth love. You, you're worth somebody who's going to be there with you. You're worth somebody who's not going to ghost you. That's one of the, honestly, ghosting is one of the worst things people can do. It's horrible. Ghosting is one of the most crucial horrible things to do <laughs> you don't do that on people leave them hanging there and wondering did i do anything wrong what the hell did i do no it's just you know it's not not that was just remember that wasn't kind so when they decide to hello you're not gonna jump and say i'm happy to hear from you i miss you well, if they call you with, I miss you, you know they want you to say, I miss you again, because they want just to verification, kind of. Remember that. Because they're karma, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. He will want to see if you're healed, too. Absolutely. And so, if you do, if you both heal, it's great to start fresh, you could that could be a fresh new relationship with the same person start slow getting to know each other and understanding that yeah and see yeah that person has changed you know that person has it is a different person and you can offer show that you have you're a different person that you you believe in yourself that you're not jealous you're not needed you got your life you got your shite together you know and you, whether with him or without him, you still go shining, and that's how it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I love, I love reading. I love doing this for you, helping you guys on this journey. It's so amazing, and I love helping. And yeah, I just keep it strong. I know it's, and this is the time that a lot of that is happening right now. You're not the only one in that in that situation. A lot of people are going through this situation because, again, the and, and I did say the masculine, divine masculine is healing right now. It's going through a process of healing. I mentioned that earlier too uh, before. It's, they're going through a process of healing, the divine masculine. They're starting to remember too their, their, their powers, you know, their, their energy. Although just because you're a masculine doesn't mean you have the feminine energy too. You have both. But the, the masculine part needs a lot of healing. So they're working through that. Everybody has both. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any, let's see. Let me make sure if anybody else 
Anybody else? Anybody out there? No, I think we got the list. So uh, Monday, I'll be back, you guys. I'll be back on Monday. And the ones that did today will be on the spinner wheel. I'm actually going to add them tonight into the spinner wheel. And if you did two times, you're going to go in two times. Your name is going to go two times already. And thank you so much. Let me see what you're saying here. Let me, I can read here better. <laughs> yes. You know what? You needed to hear this. The, I, I, I'm glad I can help you. Yeah. You two questions on the papers today and you say the answer to both. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That book is scary too, right? Like all this, the, it, it's, it's fun. It's cool. Scary. Right. But I'm glad, you know, spirit knew what you needed. And again, it's, you get your answers. I'm glad you get your answers and keep strong. You do, you are, you, you need to be very proud of you. Like you're doing fantastic. You're doing fantastic. Go back to where you came. Don't look at that you haven't moved yet. Don't look at that part. That's irrelevant. Look how far you've gotten in your life, in your journey. The moving is uh, geographic. The spirit sometimes wants us to stay longer where we are for reasons. There's reasons why. That's me too. I didn't complain. Like, I'm a great, you know, I manifest anything I want. If I want to move, I move. I want to do that. But that is a pause on that move. And I understood. I understood the game. I was like, hmm, hmm, I guess I'm not moving there. It's just my dream to be where uh, ocean and all that. But it, I am in the ocean, but in the tropical, right? But it's not going. They want me here for your own safety. It could be even for my own safety. They know why. And I'm trusting and I'm blessed and I'm happy where I am. Be happy where you are. Remember, sometimes we want to move out because we want to run away from our, our problems or whatever. They don't run away. They come with you. If air is issues... You drag them wherever you go. <laughs> Make it happy where you are. Make it happy where you are. And with the open that you, if you feel like a new town, I want the ocean, the tropical ocean. I want that so bad. It's part of my whole dream. I got a lot of good things coming my way. Yeah. A little, a little more life. Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, I'm, my dream of my life is to have, I even have a big picture of the ocean and all that. Uh, and I, like I say, I when I manifested the ocean, when I manifested the first time, I did a, I did a dream board, and I put myself looking, having my coffee in the morning, looking at the ocean. I do I have my balcony out there, my fairy garden, and I have the ocean right there. I see the the love boats coming in. I do I have the ocean right in here. I walk down the hill. I'm in front of the marina. I drive five minutes. I'm more more ocean. So I'm surrounded by ocean. <laughs> but it's not the ocean I want. I didn't specify. <laughs> I wanted the warm one. I can go swimming. It's cold. I can't go swimming. I love, but I didn't put that on my thing. I know I meant, you see, I know, but I did. <laughs> But I do have the beautiful ocean. I love looking at the ocean. I love sitting out there and contemplating on that. Sometimes the moon, it's so nice, the moon, when it's the full moon and it's reflecting on the water. Oh, I love that. I love everything about it. I love the whole energy. But I can't go swimming. Last summer was so hot in here. It got really hot. I thought I would jump. And people were jumping. Ooh, I jump and jump out. It was freezing. <laughs> I like the nice Caribbean ocean. Ding, 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 ding right? <laughs> but you see, I know. And, 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 and so I plan. I like, again, you know, we, we make our own miracles. I plan. It was a deal done for me to move 2021. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And it's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's going to still happen. They never died because of all this thing that happened. It, it delayed that whole thing. Obviously, they are not. So if they're not lining up. So when you do all the process and everything because you want to do it and it's not lining up, you got to trust that. You don't get mad at that. You got to trust that the, the universe has got, you know what, holding the door. Stay where you are right now. I know you're doing all the stuff. You have all the planet, but we're, we don't want you to go there. We don't want you to go there. Not right now, or we don't want you to go there. And, and they're telling you, stay put, continue doing your thing. You're doing a great job. We'll line you up in the right direction. 
And I know that's what the universe has stolen me. And I'm happy with that. I'm cool. <laughs> I laugh about it, though. I laugh about it, about my... You know, there was 10 things I did. Uh, you know, I'm going to probably have a class about that. But how to do the vision board and all that. It's it just... I put 10 things on it. 10 things. Now, eight other things happen. The two, it didn't happen because I changed my mind about those two. I actually had the opportunities for it. And I say, no, I don't want it no more. So you can change it. But they were almost about to manifest. It's scary how almost to manifest. But I changed my mind on those two. But if I wouldn't have changed my mind, that would have happened, the 10 things that I put on that. So I created a new one <laughs> with better details. <laughs> But that was awesome. I looked at everything that I line up. It's all there. And then I look even at the place that I'm staying. It's all there. It's like, but you see, you make it and you put all that energy and you put it away. And then when it is happening after a couple, you look at it. You tick, 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 tick. Oh, I did change my mind on this. Oh, I did a scratch, but I didn't, but I did change my mind. I didn't do it. And I changed my mind about this one too. Didn't happen. But almost happened, but I didn't. Wow. Wow. I got to tell you, man, I say it's magic. <laughs> that's right. So that's, that's why trust a lot in the universe as well. We do our part. We do our part. We do our action. And if it's not happening and if it's not panning up, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Trust it. Trust the process. Trust the universe. It's not making it happening right now. There is, there's a reason why the, we don't know the reason. Trust the universe. It's either protecting you. It wants you put there or your energy needs to be where it is because you are projecting that energy you're he you when you project that energy out there like it or not you're a healer as well so your energy is balancing something around where you are i know i'm a here a balance i need to stay here they put me here for a reason they brought me here for a reason and i i know since i came here i felt the portals i felt energies i know there's a reason why here but yeah so you are that definitely definitely trust the process Especially if you've done everything to line it up and it's not happening, do not question why it's just says, okay, cool, cool. I know what I did. I believe that I will, but I, it's not happening. I trust that it's not happening for uh, my highest good. It's always for your highest good, believe it or not, you guys. And you get to see it eventually. And just, yeah, it's so cool. I'm feeling I'm a healer. I heal. A yeah, you do. Yeah. Well, you see, that's the point, right? Uh, we go through a lot and the reason why we go through a lot is not because we're oh we're uh, we need to experience and we need to learn how to heal ourselves in order to be able to help others so you notice a lot of the stuff I have experienced almost oh you can manage everything almost like I I experienced so many things in my life since I was a kid you know but uh, maybe when I was a teenager, I thought, my God, uh, like, what the heck is wrong with me? Am I a mutt? Like, you know, a lot of us go through that thinking that what is wrong with me? Why is all this? You know, and some people, when you're a teenager, when a teenager mind is scary because we want some teenagers takes, take, takes their life in their hands. And we get to the point, oh, I'm useless here. I'm, I'm not loved here or whatever. We go through all that and, and you know. And they do funny things, but they don't realize that we're going through a lot of things because it's your training. I always say train warrior of light training just to get you to where you're going. So there's times that you're like, feel like, ugh, like, really, do I really belong here? Like, do, you know, and some people don't go there. Well, guys, you know, don't even think about it because the, you need to go through that because it's taking you somewhere else. At the moment, it really sucks. There's times that really sucks, I know, but it's just got to have that trust and that that's not forever, whatever is happening, that crappy thing that is happening, it's not forever, it's not, it's just your lessons, even the heartbreaks and all that, I know the heartbreaks hurt so much, I, I will, that, that I'm sure that, that then doing that to you, 
I know, I remember you were broken heart. I get it, you know. But you, you're seeing now why you're feeling better. You're, you're loving yourself. You grow from it. And you became a better you. And you keep doing that. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Just hang in there, you guys. You know, everything, everything here is just a journey, a lesson. And if crappy things are happening, just remember, it's not going to last forever. Think better thing. You know, don't stay in the hole. Don't stay in the hole. Get out of the hole. Any Anything that is thrown at you, any stones, grab the stones. Step on it. Step on it. Don't let them crush you. I love you guys. I love you. I think I'm good. I think I got everybody. Everybody is done. I'm just making sure nobody else. Because sometimes after I finish talking, somebody does a donation. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Again, um, this is a little bit lag and all that. I'm glad those who can't had to come today had to come today. Got, have a wonderful night, guys. Love, honor, respect. Thank you so much. And still keep shining your light, you guys. Don't forget, if you need anything, you can contact me. Or you can go to Divine Inner Love to join my school, my university, my uh, if you want readings, healings. Just let me know. <laughs> Thank you.